Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, I think we are mostly going to be uh, grinding because if you take a look at the team, uh, whilst obviously nearly unstoppable and very skilled, I have to say, mm, perhaps a smidge under leveled, you know, uh, we have two, two guys still under 50. Um, I feel like at least going into victory road, maybe we should try and get everyone to like the uh, 55 ish minimum i mean uh they are all super powerful obviously they've made it this far in the game and i have to say at this point everyone seems like they're really just clicking <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> uh Zerxen, i think has firmly assumed like the leader position which is great uh chloeo really into that you know the the big purple hugger here uh xylea chloeo and Zerxen are little trio uh have become a pretty solid friends uh, that you always you will always see Chloeo and Xylia just flanking Xerxen, which is a pretty formidable looking site. You know, giant scorpion, big lion, super Xylia down here. I feel like uh, Xylia, you can almost see even in her little avatar, has adopted the the angry eyebrows, and they're just mm, very very good. Uh, Duong, an immediate hit on the team. Um, I mean, gosh, I I'm surprised. Just really strong. Pretty happy about it. Uh, Fatterhorn, how many, I mean, how many, I can't believe he's only level 47, because, like, how many gym battles have we won on the back of Fatterhorn, you know, like, feels like a lot, and then Davin, um, I mean, we've had legendary Pokemon on the teams before, and I have to say, in, in typical fashion, is very respectful of the other, of, like, the pre-existing relationships on the team, and, like, the team dynamics, and isn't, like, there to assert his authority or anything, you know, he's just chilling. Uh, you know, and everyone seems very happy to have such a Pokemon on the team. And he seems grateful to be on the team because, you know, it's like, oh, thanks for not turning me into a giant weapon. That was cool of you. So, anyway, the first thing we're going to do is, uh, let's say, oh, well, I guess this is a new route. So we can catch something and then we're going to do some grinding. Sound good? Oh, well, maybe, maybe really the first thing we're going to do is fight this girl. So then we're going to do some grinding because she's just in the way. But this is good. It gives us like some, some free good experience, you know. Trainer battles always with the better experience. Sableye. Sableye. Mm-hmm. We shall see how you fare, Sableye, against the mighty Iron Head, yes. Wreck him. Not better than I would have thought. Confused Ray. Ugh, I hate Confused Ray. It's so annoying. Uh, okay. Let's see. Can we do... What can we do? To try and... Like, can we wait this out? Can we just full heal? Can we go through the confusion? I'm gonna full heal. Because I, I... I'm so annoyed by... I do not want to be confused. We know Duong's not as good at this yet. Foul play. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Whoa! Way too much freaking damage! But we should be able to take him out with another Iron Head. Yeah, boom! He dead. Okay, okay, okay. That's where we're at, boom. Leveled up, very good, very good, very good. Alright. And a Crustle. Mm-hmm. Big ol' rock thing. Well... I would think we're probably pretty good, right? Because we have the we resist rock and we're strong against it. So, Iron Head C avoided it. Ugh. Oh, and now he's shell smashing. That's real good. That's super duper good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Great. Love that. Uh, let's try a quick like. Mmm. I don't know if we're going to be faster. Like, he just dropped all those defenses and stuff. So, if we're faster, I feel like no problem. We're going to wreck him now. But if he's faster, then we will still resist. But, like, 41 is not a great point even for resisting. So, go for it. Do it. Oh, no. Oh, we avoided it. Okay. That might have been really bad. But we win! Oh, yes! Oh, take that, you stupid Crustle. Man, I, I was like, that? We might have just dodged a literal bullet there with that Rock Wrecker. That is not a weak attack. And it is, uh, when it's shell smashed up like that, I think that was probably cool. 
That might have been quite a bullet we just dodged. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but but we did. We did. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for medicine. There it is. Okay. All right. Cool. Who needs some? Some milk? You want some milk? And strength milk, right? I guess. Oh, boy. That was, that was more nerve-wracking, I think, than it needed to be. Oh, God. There's a freaking double battle up here. Uh, maybe we're just going to train down here in the grass for a second. That's what we're going to do. Or we're going to catch something. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? What are we going to catch? What are we going to catch? An Ursa Ring. Oh, interesting. An Ursa Ring. Well, it does look very powerful and cool. Man, Ursa Ring is such a, like, a fun Pokemon. She's like, I'm a giant bear. What up? Hey, don't mess with me. And Big Bear. Um, let's see. Let's go with the old, ye old Iron Head again. Hopefully this doesn't totally knock it out. Oh, that was pretty solid. Got the crit. Oh, and he rested, though. Hmm. Don't like that. I mean, I guess we can... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Now we can just try and damage him a little bit more. Uh, Iron Head again. Mm-hmm. Snore? Oh, he has a... Wow, really? It's going snore on me? What? 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 Oh. That was the dumbest series of moves I've ever seen. That he actually managed to hit us with Snore and we missed. We missed a sleeping Pokemon. Come on. Come on. Alright. Going for another one. Now he's going to wake up. Slash. It's going to do nothing. More than I would have thought. But, okay. Oh no, he died! Ah! Uh, what? No! Ah! Uh. Well, there we go. We didn't catch anything on this route. That's a bummer. Would have liked that Ursa ring. Uh, but, oh well. Alright, well, now we're going to do uh, a little bit of grinding. So I'm going to turn on the EXP share to speed this up because it takes forever. But uh, yeah, enjoy the music and I'll uh, see you in like a minute. Welcome back, everyone. We are done with the grinding at freaking last. Gosh, it takes it takes so long. You can't even imagine. Anyway, though, let's... Uh, oh, no, that's not what we're doing. Pokemon. Let's take a look at where everyone ended up. So I was aiming for about 55-ish uh, on everybody. And as you can see, uh, we got there with Fatterhorn and everyone else overshot it a little bit which is only to our favor so let's see if anything is different um fatterhorn i did give him heavy slam instead of bulldoze uh my thought process being that uh we have bulldoze as a tm so i could try out heavy slam and if it didn't work if i wanted to switch it back no big deal um yeah, so that, that, that's pretty much the whole the whole thing. Heavy Slam is like a move that does damage based on your weight versus the opponent's weight. And Snorlax is very heavy. So there you go. That's that. Um, who's next? Dwong. As you can see, I gave him the Soft Sand. He picked up X Scissor instead of Bug Bite. Way stronger. And then I also gave him Iron Defense instead of uh, Night Slash, I want to say... Uh, mostly just because that makes him even more durable than he already is. Um, and I think Night Slash was, uh, it wasn't particularly, it, it didn't like offer us a ton of extra type coverage that we weren't already getting from uh, X's or anything. I found like this might be more useful. Uh, especially since one of the Elite Four members is also a Steel type user. If we can throw in our own Steel type, throw in some Iron Defense, hit him with some Digs, that seemed like a good, uh, a, a good bench move. David, we picked up Horn Leech instead of what do we have there? I don't even remember. Um, 
it was days ago now that that part happened, but mm -hmm. I'm okay with it. This does, Horn Leech does, yeah, it's just like Giga Drain, except it's super strong. So there's that, pretty solid. Um, figured this might be good against some of those fossil type Pokemon. Oh, actually, in particular, there's an entire water type member of the Elite Four. So there's that. Um, although we also have other options for that as well, like uh, Xylia and her mighty Thunderbolt. Um, that's gonna be such a move. This, uh, no, nothing new. Well, no, I say nothing new. No, mm -hmm -hmm. we were going to pick up, uh, what is it, Cross Poison? I was like, oh, is there something even better than Poison Jab? But no, Cross Poison is that classic. It does, instead of 80, 70, but there's a high critical hit chance. And it's just like, mm, you can never you can never gamble in that way in the old Nuzlocke here. And then uh, Xylia, nothing new. Her moves are perfect. She's unstoppable. Anyway, that's how the team is looking, as it were, right now. Who to lead with? Um, <laughs> let's, let's, let's lead with our leader, the Xerxen and the duong there you go well i say that i think there's a i just say that because i think there's a double battle coming up here in one hot memento so um let's uh let's see how they fare against them uh i'm not sure how many more trainers that we have standing between us and victory road if maybe this is just the route 21 episode or if this is the oh did i hi did I fight you? I might have accidentally fought them mid <laughs> grinding because you get curious after a while and don't want to keep walking around those flowers. All right, well, I guess we beat them. What's happening here? Oh, is this it though? Okay, maybe, nope, that was it. Time to go. The gate is, this gate is the entrance to Victory Road. Only Pokemon trainers who've collected all eight badges may pass. Your total number of badges is one, two, three, four. Wow, you have all eight. Well, you missed like six, seven and whatever. But, uh, well then, allow me to test you. Oh, I have to fight you. <laughs> you what are you, just some self-appointed bodyguard? All right, bro. Trainer Robbie, you send in your big car bink. Mm-hmm. But were you prepared for the Xerxen? Mm-hmm. I think not. I think not. So what is this thing? It's like part fa it's like fairy rock, right? So we're just gonna poison jab it and it's gonna die. Right? Uh the poisoniest of jabs. Oh, we poisoned it. Brilliant. Moon blast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, not too terribly concerned. Special attack fell. How dare you? How dare you? Actually, I don't think that really matters for us though, because we're all a very we're a very physical attacker. Um Let's see, the poison jab was only so-so in terms of damage, but it did do a lot. Uh, I'm just gonna... You can't get wrong with, the, uh, with a good solid poison jab. We haven't seen Xerxen fight in a good, in a good while in a... In a oh, pff, yeah, the stealth rock. Okay. All right. Gotta yeah, tell you what, I've been playing a, a monotype run on my Ultra Sun game, and I'm doing fire, and... Like, normally when the computer sets up something like Stealth Rock, you're like, okay, <laughs> this is, that doesn't really matter in uh, the normal gameplay. But, oh my gosh, it is horrifyingly difficult to beat, like, the, like, a trainer who uses Stealth Rock on you and has, like, a bunch of ground-type Pokemon when all you have is fire and you can't switch at all. It's just, everything that comes in takes so much damage. Anyway, not, neither here nor there. We're going to bulldoze this thing right out of its brain oh oh the speed fall the thunderbolt mm -hmm. Xerxen takes it like a champ and we're just gonna bulldoze it one more time and if we need to switch I will just take the stealth rock damage hopefully he doesn't send in a grass type for us to you know have to deal with the uh the extra damage. A Kingdra! Ooh, oh, very impressive, yes. Um, hmm. That is interesting. Uh, the question is, should we go into... Let's go... Actually, yeah. This is a big, great opportunity to test this out. Let's go into um, Davin here. I don't know if he's going to try and use more Dragon-type moves or more Water-type moves, but... Either way, we're immune on some level to either style of attack, which either, whichever way he decides to go. 
Dragon Pulse. Yeah, it doesn't affect us. So, good try, Dumbo. Um, let's just go for the Moon Blast. See, Horn Leech would be a great is great here too, though, because if he does manage to do some damage to us, we'll just steal it back. But for the moment, uh, let's Moon Blast them. Do do do! Bam! Fight the mighty deer! Oh, so so dead. That wasn't even super effective. That was just regular. Oh, wonderful. See, there you go. Xerxen and Daven. Just our two best Pokemon. <laughs> Sorry. Please allow me to say it once more. Fantastic. May the road you and your Pokemon follow be filled with joy and success. All right, cool. Thanks. I think there's a... This is the other half. This is like a town from way earlier in the game. Right? Um, that I'm pretty sure... Right? Can we... Like, way earlier. This is where we caught Chloeo. Oh, whoop. Whoop. There we go. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to go in here and uh, heal real quick. Santa Loon City. And hopefully I didn't just hop over some things that are going to force me to walk up an enormous distance or go pull out someone to fly or something. That would be super annoying. I don't think so. Or hopefully there's not some weird trainer... Uh, just standing in the middle of the road that earlier in the game I wasn't like, uh, I don't want to fight you because I'm, I'm tired right now. And now I'm going to have to like wreck their level 5, you know, Psyduck or something. Here we go. Ba -ba -doo, running back to Victory Road where we're going to be victorious. Yeah. Do you like my song? I just made it up right now. You could probably couldn't tell. It probably sounded really rehearsed and the vocals were on, on point and everything. Here we go. Oh, oh, I love that. Look at this. Look at all the badges on the wall. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, well done. I've always said the Kalos region is a little bit dramatic with the way they spend their money. Um, like, if you think back to, like, Kanto, for example, with the Elite Four, it's just like Lorelei and Bruto and Lance and Agatha. They're just standing in a, a lightly decorated room. It's nothing insane it's like yeah i do ice types there's a pool around me okay let's fight and they're all really good then you come here and they're like welcome to my throne room young traveler ha 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 do you like all of the water and the fire and the steel and you're like oh my gosh this is insane and then you fight them and you're like oh i see what happened you spent all of the money on the throne room and not on the training okay uh, mm, there it is yeah that's uh here we go victory road oh man look at the torches but i will say that is still sort of fitting with the overall like theme of the region and the games like even the fact that the the villains are all about beauty in the kalos region it's like okay uh yeah, that's what everyone's about here. You can see how they got to that point. First trainer! We can also catch something new, for what it's worth. Might be... Hopefully, we won't need anything new anymore. But it could happen. I just want to spend time with my Pokemon, but everyone keeps challenging me to battles. I ran all the way here, and yet I still can't find any peace of quiet. Well, maybe you should stop standing by the entrance. That's where everyone's coming in. Of course they're going to challenge you. If you meet eyes, apparently you have to battle. So, I don't know what your problem is. Uh, oh, man. You know who'd be really good at fighting you, Weavile? is one fatter horn. Let's do it. I'm sure Xerxen can do it. Dude, level 60? Jeez. We did so much training and they're still in the 60s? Oh, boy. Here we go. Ice. I think Thick Fat protects against Ice in particular, so that should do very little damage. Yeah. And then your Brittle Brittle Body is just going to get Power Up Punched into the next world. Lo oh, low kick, though. Oh, no. Woo. Well, I didn't like that. Mm-mm-mm. So, low kick, on the other hand, much like Heavy Slam, is a weight-based move, which, uh, the heavier you are, the more damage it does, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, not only that, it's a fighting type move, which we are weak to, so we are gonna switch, because we are definitely slower than that thing. It's gonna hit us with another fighting type attack, so we're just gonna go into dab in here to absorb said hit, 
and then we will uh you know blast it into kingdom come i'm glad it took three pokemon to beat beat this guy and honestly we probably could have just done it with you went for the night slash why didn't you go for the low kick did you think i was gonna switch what'd you think i was gonna bring in i'm confused you don't make sense mega horn boy avoided the attack this weavile is putting up way more of a fight than it has any right to do ice punch uh-huh wow this cave looks like it's gonna be are you kidding me with the missing right now david it's not that fast it's that hasn't used any evasive moves all right let's go ice punch yeah i get it if you freeze so help me we're just gonna moon blast all right we don't need it Ugh. oh my goodness this is this are you guys watching this fight are you guys watching this fight oh my god this is so annoying this is the first freaking fight oh my gosh all right well apparently we don't have a full restore that's unfortunate we're just gonna switch out to xylea here it's getting so annoying i'm glad i had to spend four pokemon on fighting this guy i was like yeah i'm just gonna power up punch it it's, it, it it'll, it'll break no problem and then he busts out the freaking oh the rocky helmet wouldn't that have been hilarious um body slam just do it just finish this thing oh of course you have low kick i already knew that i already knew that the amount of damage that one weavile did to our entire team holy crap well hey yeah 59 58 yeah good ever good everyone all right well that was sobering uh, all right so we're gonna go heal and buy some uh full restores if we can hold on we'll be right back okay healed and full restores in hand let's try this again maybe without a freaking weavile all right what can we catch i don't want it to be some sort of water thing let's maybe catch something first let's see what is it what's it gonna be <gasps> here's what we can catch i think this is the last thing we'll be able to catch mm, maybe not a graveler all right all right as long as you don't explode in my face or something, dude. 57? My goodness. See, this is a great opportunity. Well, I would say it's a great opportunity for Heavy Slam, except he's probably pretty heavy, too. Um, body Slam. Let's go for the paralysis. Oh, no, 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 that was fun. Good fight. Good to know. Good to know. Don't fight the Gravelers, because they'll explode in your face, and that's not fun at all. No, it's not. Do you guys like my song? I just made it up right now. You probably couldn't tell, because, you know, the vocals were all so good and stuff, and it was so well rehearsed. All right. Wow, this has been a fun cave thus far. Small waves roll on the water surface. Would you like to surf? That's sort of a bummer we didn't get to catch the last thing. Uh, but whatevs. Oh, good. We have the surf. All right. Let's take you on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm, you look like you'd be a good opponent for my Steelix to gain some good experience. Ah, Steelix, you say? Uh, immediately, I wish we still had Bulldoze. Yeah, well, there you go. Maybe I shouldn't have gone with Heavy Slam. It's not being, uh... <laughs> it's not being the best, suddenly. Ah, uh, Steelix interesting interesting so we could hmm. do we go into like someone like xylia for this you think who could totally just surf this thing down no problem but he could also hmm, let's see how will the fats deal we could also just power up punch it that well it's not gonna do like tons of damage he's got the ground part too makes it a little bit stronger let's see how this does let's let's give it a test power up punch Mmm, yes, very effective. Ice Fang. What is with all the ice attacks in this place thus far? You know what I'm saying? It's like nothing. There we go. Alright, well that didn't do very much at all. So I think we can 
<laughs> we may as well power up punch again because we can only get stronger and make the rest of the fight a lot easier and each one should do more and more damage ice fang we're also resistant to as long as we don't get frozen which can happen because that just happened in the last fight so far this is working out in our favor significantly because we are just powering up a lot yeah we may as well just make it an even four and then we'll oh earthquake here it is mm -hmm. how do we handle the earthquake though with flying colors this well, okay, i was gonna say despite being so many levels lower but we're actually only one level lower i guess this guy spread his experience across three pokemon instead of pumping 60 levels into his one weavile there you go. You've been power up punched. And now we have plus four attack. So I really don't want to switch at this point because we can just wreck whatever comes in. Provided it can't, you know, wreck. Watch it be like Scrafty. Hmm, Kangaskhan. You know what? We may as well continue with the power up punches though, right? Because that's the the normal damage. Um, this is one of those like, is a plus four power up punch plus super effectiveness better than just body slam plus regular plus stab you know mm, and no super effective <laughs> um let's just go for it why not we're gonna make it even stronger outrage isn't that a dragon type move all right well i'm outraged as well and we're just getting <laughs> so strong <laughs> Fatterhorn is like, he's ready to wreck whatever at this point. Uh, power up punch again. Why not? We'll just go for the max. Mm -hmm. You're going to hit us with that. And then we're going to be all like, that didn't hurt. And we're going to punch you. And now we're plus six and you're dead. So as long as you don't bring in some crazy fighting type, which would not surprise me at all, because that's just the way this game goes. He'll be like, I've got sock as my final Pokemon. You're like, okay. Electrode, oh my goodness, dude. If you so much as think about exploding on me, I can't even risk it at all. What we're gonna absolutely do is freaking hyper potion because there's no way we can risk an explosion. No way. There we go. Thunder! Mm hmm. Zippity zap. That didn't hurt very much at all. That's probably your strongest attack. So as long as you don't uh, paralyze us with that again, we're going to body slam you to the next world. Oh, the screech. Mm, that might have been affected, effective had I not really powered up on your other Pokemon. Now, I didn't even think that I needed to because Electro does not have good defense, but there you go. Well done, Fatterhorn. You did it. Boom. Look at that. See, this is the thing about Snorlax is he takes forever to level up. He just defeated three trainer pokemon at a higher level than him by himself got all the experience didn't level up <laughs> very very frustrating anyway guys okay so we've had a taste of victory road i think we're at a good stopping point for this level we unfortunately did not get to catch anything i think we have a very difficult victory road ahead of us so uh that should be fun but we're going to continue on with our adventure next time uh and we should we should be arriving at the elite four by the end of the next episode so i think we're probably down to the last uh few episodes of the nuzlocke challenge uh please be sure to leave a like on the video if you haven't already and subscribe so you don't miss the finale of the pokemon x nuzlocke challenge uh, but until next time thanks for watching bye